when I when I arrived in in seventy seven, <clears throat> the church was seven years old or just having their seventh anniversary. There, that whole year, what was prominent that stuck out to me in the ministry here and through the preaching of the of the word here was that uh, much time was being spent on preaching on um, prayer and the power of the Holy Spirit and taking the lower seat. And those three things, I believe, uh, were very, very um, developmental in my life then. Uh, coming here uh, 30 years later, uh, the same message is the same. The one thing that stood out to me the most as a student and now that I'm a graduate is uh, the the idea of enduring hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And there were a number of ways that we were prepared to do that. I think, um, number one, the, the work and what was expected of us as students helped to prepare us for that because it developed character in us, it developed discipline, and and really, discipline is faithfulness. And I think that uh, the emphasis on consistency, doing your, doing the fulfilling expectations, uh, whether it be in classwork or it be in ministries or just in your dorm, taking care of things. And then another thing is uh, that one of the things that stands out to me about Fairhaven is the uh, emphasis on conviction. And conviction underlies everything. My opinion is that, and I think I, I, think I picked it up here as a student, um, if you have conviction that this is, you're standing on God's word, it's easy to endure hardness. You can endure the hardness because you know that you're doing what's right. One of the first things that impacted me was seeing things done right the first time and uh, done first class because God is truly a first class God. I really believe with all my heart that uh, we serve the God and uh, one that uh, deserves all the best efforts put forth by whatever it may, might be, whether it's a small little church, it still can be done right. And uh, I saw that with that emphasis right at the beginning when I first got here. It was one of the first impressions I saw that things were done in a first-class manner. I think the thing that sticks out strongest in my mind is, uh, is standing strong on the Word of God in every aspect and not backing down, um, whether it's popular or it's not popular. Um, from different, uh, just different churches and others, I see it's, I just, I, th I think it's found it's important to stand. <clears throat> I see preacher has not, has, is the same place that he was 30 years ago. And uh, when I was in college, and I think it's important that we have churches that are still remaining on the Word of God. I think it's one of those things we, uh, we have to face the fact that uh, when we come to college, uh, we are looking for a life's mate as well. And one of the nice things about this college is that uh, someone that comes here <clears throat> generally, for the most part, will have the philosophy uh, that uh, a young man or a young woman is looking for. Uh, when someone comes here, uh, you already know uh, they're, com you're, they're coming to this school for a reason and uh, they have the same character values, they have the same um, ideals, uh, they have the same principles and uh, those things that are important to you are important to them. And so it makes it much easier uh, to find a life's mate uh, for that sole reason. Uh, it's not one of these things where you uh, are uh, uh, you know, interested in a girl and then wondering uh, what, what she believes, uh, what uh, her family is like back home. Um, if she's here, uh, she's here for the right reason. The, the college verse says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts into wisdom. And that, that, that's a college theme verse, but it's also uh, portrayed in the college and, uh, and through the ministry of the church and the preaching as well. So that's uh, one of the things that I took. And also the, the seriousness of, of a soul winning and the, the need for it. And to realize that I remember a message Dr. Volkman preached that has stuck with me is the fact that, you know, we see so many people by the way they look or by what they're wearing or this or that, but we ought to look at them as a soul that's either going to heaven or that's going to hell and reach them accordingly. When I came to 
Fairhaven Baptist College as a freshman, I really had no idea what I was getting into, but God wanted to change my life. And he knew that I needed Fairhaven Baptist College. You can get an education a lot of places. Um, and if all I received was an education, I would not be where I was, I'm at today. Um, God needed to do something in my life. He needed to change me. And, you know, there's no greater sermon than that which is seen in the life lived. And at Fairhaven Baptist College, there was a group, and there is a group, of godly men, women, and families that live the life. It's, it's just a whole way of life, Christianity. And that way of life, God revealed to me uh, through watching them, working with them, um, them praying with me, church members, times when, as a college student, you know, someone from the church noticed that I was discouraged and came alongside and took me to dinner and said, hey, is there anything you want to talk about? And I just, I just broke down. I wept. And um, I needed to talk. I needed that. I wasn't going to get that in a classroom. I wasn't going to get that from a textbook. I needed something real besides information that you can find anywhere and today on the web. And um, that's, that was the life-changing experience that I had at Fairhaven Baptist College. It was real. I don't think anyone who leaves Fairhaven can deny the fact that this place is real. You, get, you see what you get, and you get what you see. God has called me to pastor a church on the south side of Chicago, and I learned the principles that I believe are needed for a successful church at Fairhaven Baptist College. Fairhaven Baptist College has gone over and beyond the call of duty in teaching things such as character, hard work, perseverance, um, just sticking to the stuff. Uh, the old-fashioned emphasis is something that I personally believe in and was taught at Fairhaven, that we don't have to change our methods in order to build a strong church. We just stick with the Bible. Since I, I've left, uh, I've come back several times, and uh, Fairhaven is still the same. It hasn't changed. Still sticking by uh, the, the music standards, uh, the, the standards of dress, the standards of doing things right. And uh, Dr. Vogelin hasn't wavered. Uh, I often heard uh, different pastors come in during uh, conferences and they'd say, well, this is a man that always stands by the stuff. And I've been able to witness that throughout the years and, and just observing him and, and uh, he's just stuck by the stuff. And, and, uh, and so has the church. And, and that is something, again, that... Uh, that is true in this day and age, and, and it's, it's, it's amazing, and we praise the Lord again for that stand that he's taken and continues to take.